Hi guys, this is Terry again from Aussie Diamond Painters. Um, just thought I'd do another drill with me. Um, I got a tag on my iPad here. I think some of the questions are some that I've answered before, but we'll see how we go. As usual, I'll just do my first line before I get started. Hoping you can see what I'm doing. Not that you really watch what I'm doing. You're probably doing your own um, diamond painting. That's the way I listen to them. Is um, when I'm doing my own diamond painting. So I don't watch. I usually just listen. But anyway, we can get started. Okie dokie. What is your favourite candle scent? Um, especially for when I'm cleaning, I like vanilla or vanilla bean. Um, that's fairly plain, I know. Um, but other than that, I like most scents, um, most fresh scents like um, there's a watermelon one that's really nice um, but usually I'm a um, a vanilla type person it, it to me they it smells clean and the house smells clean when you're burning a vanilla candle what female female celebrity do you wish was your sister? Sandra Bullock. I think she'd be a great sister. I think she'd be a lovely lady. She's been hurt very badly, um, but I think she I think she would be a lovely a lovely lady. Um, I also think she would have been a good friend growing up. Um, yeah, but I suppose you never know until you live with somebody, but. Yeah, that's what I think anyway. Um, what male celebrity do you wish was your brother? Hmm. Um, probably Chris Hemsworth or somebody like that. Um, I know he has a few brothers. But um, maybe, I don't know that he had any sisters, or that he has any sisters. Um, he seems a personal sort of guy. Uh, I don't know how straight his head screwed on at the moment, but I think as growing up he'd be, he would have been fairly egotistical, I think. But um, I think he would also look after a sibling, especially a sister. Um, yeah. Uh, what miles? Oh, yeah. how old do you think you'll be when you get married? Well, I was married at twenty the first time, so I already know that. Um, do you know a hoarder? Yes, I do know a hoarder. I, I. Um, I've never seen his place, but um, from what I understand, he's um, quite the hoarder, and his neighbours and council and everybody are chasing him. He seems like a personal, a personal bull type person, but um, he apparently won't get rid of anything. Like he's even the type who's got old cars on his property and old boats and things like that. Can you do a split? I used to be able to. Uh, 57 now, as of the other day. So, I don't think I'd even try. But yeah, I used to be able to. I'm fairly flexible, but I don't think I would um, even try doing the splits now. How old were you when you learned how to ride a bike? Um, about 40. Uh, we were not allowed to have a bike when I was growing up. Um, 
dad's father bought us one once and um, it sort of got stolen so he said uh, yeah so probably about a probably yeah about 40 I would say I have a bike in my garage that I use don't tell dad it's there but yeah I use it um, how many oceans have you swum in Five, I think. Never swam swam in the Black Sea. I know that. Yeah, but probably five. How many countries have you been to? I think I answered this before. Um, I'm not sure how many. Um, been to Manila, Hong Kong, Canada, USA. Um, South Pacific countries on a cruise, Numea, New Caledonia, um, Vanuatu, parts of French Polynesia. Um, is anyone in your family in the army? No. Um, my father's father tried, and there was some reason why he couldn't I can't remember what it was dad did tell me once and mum's father had psoriasis the same as I have so he wasn't allowed in the army um, what would you name your daughter if you had one well I do have one and her name is Rebecca so I've always wanted a I've always wanted Rebecca as a girl's name for a child. Um, and funny thing is, as I've said before, Rebecca's adopted and um, her birth mother actually named her Rebecca also and I didn't know that until many years later. Apparently Rebecca was um, the birth mother's best friend and helped her through the pregnancy so she named the baby after her so it's just one of those funny things that happen um, what would you name your son if you had one well, I was always going to have a Shane um, when I was little because my best friend when I was growing up was um, the girl down the street and her boyfriend's name was Shane and he was a lovely guy um, Yes, yeah, so I think it probably would have been Shane. But I don't think you really know until you see them. I mean, there's so many names picked out for my... Um, or one in particular picked out for my nephew, but when he came, it, uh, it didn't suit him, they thought, so they named him something totally different. Um... What's the worst grade you ever got on a test? Well, I got a lot of bad grades because of my dyslexia. So I wouldn't be able to answer that one. I would say just most of them were bad, really bad. Um, yeah, especially if there was an essay or something um, involved. What was your favorite TV show when you were a child? I dream of Jeannie probably. Um, I used to love it watching that show and the magic and that sort of thing that she was supposed to be performing. Um, what did I dress up as Halloween when I was eight? Well I had no idea what Halloween was when I was eight so I didn't. Have you read any of the Harry Potter, Hunger Games or Twilight series? I have read one Twilight series. I have read all of Harry Potter. I haven't read any of the Hunger Games. But I loved Harry Potter. They're actually on my phone. I purchased them through Audible. So that um, 
if I run out of books and can't afford to buy any I've always got Harry Potter <laughs> to fall back on and read um, would you rather have an American accent or a British accent uh, I love the southern accents as I've said before um, but I think the best accent is an Aussie accent so I'll stick with my Aussie accent thank you um, did your mother go to college uh, we don't have equivalent to your college but we have university um, after you finish year 12 at school but no my mother didn't go to university are your grandparents still married well both sets were still married when they passed away have you ever taken karate lessons no but I've taken judo lessons so be careful <laughs> Um, that was when I was a lot younger but um, I think a, a good um, kick in the you know where for men is a pretty good place to aim for if you're looking at self-defense um, that works if you can, can connect um, Do I know who came at the froggies? Of course I do. Um, what's the first amusement park you've been to? Well, we have a, a tiny little amusement park called Luna Park. Um, don't know whether there's any over there in America or in the UK um, or in New Zealand for that matter. Um, but that was the only one we had here in Sydney was Luna Park so that was the place to go if you wanted to go on the scary rides um, yeah, like the Big Dipper and the Rotar and all those old scary rides uh, what language besides your native language would you like to be fluent in Chinese or Japanese something like that some some Asian um, dialect because we're not far from Asia and our country deals a lot with Asia um, it would also help if I knew Cantonese or whatever th um, to be able to speak to and understand people in, in the Chinese diamond painting world um, that would be extremely handy from time to time um, but we deal a lot with um, those sort of countries so I think if I was growing up now I would definitely um, like to learn some of the Asian languages. Um, do you spell the colour as grey or grey? Well firstly we don't spell colour the same way as you do, um, same way as the Americans do. Ours is C-O-L-O-U-R um, for colour. I don't know why probably the British way of spelling it um, and the Americans probably changed it because they've got to be different it's the same as dr driving um, we drive on the opposite side to the Americans um, and it's only because the Americans actually changed it for some reason God only knows why um, changed it way back when after um, the British were no longer controlling them um, anyway, grey or grey, G-R-A-Y. Um, is your father bald? Well, almost. Um, he still has a little bit around, you know, the old cap, I suppose you'd call it. A little bit around the edges. But he keeps it short. So, do you know triplets? Not that I'm aware of. I can't remember any triplets. I know some twins, but um, even school I can't remember tri triplets. Hmm. Do you prefer Titanic or The Notebook? The Notebook. Titanic was a good movie, but gee, it was just, I don't know, just too much for me. Love The Notebook. Have you ever had any in food? Yes, I have. Some of it's very spicy. 
that I can't eat and some of it's very nice which I can eat um, so yeah I have eaten Indian I actually work with um, quite a few Indians as well um, what's the name of your favorite restaurant hmm, I don't really have a favorite um, but Italian there's some really good Italian restaurants around here and of course really good seafood restaurants around here as well because we're not far from the water um, and yeah. have you ever been to Olive Garden well I don't even know what Olive Garden is so I would say no I would say that's something in the States do you belong to warehouse stores yes we have Costco here um, so I pay the membership for that oh I think it might be out of date now I don't go very often um, it's not something it's not close enough um, it's probably about an hour's drive to the nearest Costco um, with traffic for me so it's not something that I do on a regular basis but every now and then I like to go and see what they've got um, what would your parents have named you if you were the different sex I have no idea I think I'm thinking about it because I think I've had this question before I think it might have been Patrick um, but I'm not a hundred percent sure um, if you have a nickname what is it I'll oh, just TJ because of my name um, other than that no who's your favorite person in the world well my daughter of course um, she would be my favorite person in the world would you la rather live in rural area or the suburbs if it was not too far out of the suburbs, a rural area. Um, but I wouldn't want it to be a tiny little country town. Um, been there, done that. Um, yeah, I'd prefer it to be, you know, either quite a large town or... Oops, or the suburbs. Suburbs are okay over here. Um... Can you whistle li a little? <whistles> but I'd love to be able to do the one where you put your fingers in your mouth and make a really loud whistle, but I've never ever been able to do that. Nobody's ever been able to show me how to do it. Um, so I don't whistle that much. Uh, do you sleep with a nightlight? No, I do not. Do you eat breakfast every morning? No, I do not. I know that's naughty, especially for a diabetic. But um, no, I don't. Usually when I'm going to work each day, I'll, I'll have a piece of toast for breakfast um, and just a salad for lunch. But um, yeah, it's not a totally regular thing. Um, do you take any pills or medication daily? I certainly do. Uh, what medical conditions do you have? Oh, where do you want to start? Uh, diabetes. I have um, liver disease or non-alcoholic liver disease. Um, I have psoriasis. I have sciatic arthritis. Um, oh, they've probably even missed a few. Um, I have this esophagus thing that I like varicose veins in your esophagus. Um, the pharmacist the other day told me the name of it, I keep forgetting. Um, um, what else do I have? that's about it I think that's enough um, 
how many times have you been to the hospital? Well, quite a few. I was on IVF for a long time, for about 10 years, so that's going to the hospital every day. I wouldn't be able to count how many actual visits I've had, how many operations I've had. Um, most of those operations have been for trying to have children. Um, and then after I stopped trying, I had a hysterectomy. Um, I had my appendix out. I had an operation after a car accident. Um, I think that's about it. Most of, most of the surgeries I've had are to do with um, trying to have babies that uh, they didn't work. So, but talking about medical conditions, I also had. Um, polycystic ovaries and endometriosis and all that sort of stuff um, but when I had my hysterectomy they took both my ovaries and my uterus so I got rid of those so I haven't had a period since I was 35 which my daughter hates because she goes through the pain that I used to go through when I had period and um, I just say, haha, ha, I don't have it anymore and she hates me. <laughs> Which I can totally understand. Have you ever seen Finding Nemo? Of course I have, and I've also seen The Fish in the Sea. Um, down here in Australia, they're, they're quite prominent. And when you go, um, not scuba, I don't scuba dive, but. Um, the other one they call it where you just go across the top of the water. They have goggles and flippers and snorkeling. Um, when you go snorkeling you can see them um, a little bit up north from here. So, um, where do you buy your jeans? I don't wear jeans all that often. Um, we don't have a very long winter. And I get too hot in jeans through the summer. It's just too hot. Um, I have mainly, you know, long, long um, cotton trousers like your Caprice would fit me as trousers. <laughs> Since I'm such a tall person five foot tall um, if I didn't buy caprices most of the time you could just about make a pair of shorts for somebody else out of the what I cut off the legs take up I, um, I used to joke that I used to buy a pair of trousers and get a pair of shorts for Beck at the same time I'll just cut them up and make her a pair of shorts. Um, yeah. Vertically challenged is what I like to say. I might get another bag of three tens. Um, what's the last compliment you got? Gee, you got nice legs. People say that to me quite a lot. Um, I got my grandmother's legs. She had beautiful legs until the day she died. Um, yeah, that's mostly. Um, do you usually remember your dreams in the morning? Sometimes, but only for a little while usually. Usually gone after an hour or so. Um, slowly, like you remember some of it. And so if it's something really important, um, like start of a book or something like that, um, I sit up, I keep a notebook in my drawer and I sit up and take the notes as soon as I wake up in the morning so I don't lose it. Um, 
But yeah, I do remember them, but they're easily forgotten. Um, what flavour tea do you enjoy? Chamomile? Um, but as I said before, I don't drink much tea or coffee. I never have. never been a tea or coffee drinker. I can't stand the smell of coffee at all. Um, I can remember my grandmother when I was growing up in my teenage years and she said, you like coffee, uh, tea, a cup of tea when you're married because you would like to sit down and have a rest. But I never got into it. Can't remember the last time I had a cup of tea. Um, where are we? How many pairs of shoes do you currently own? Not as many as a lot of people have. Um, I have two pairs of shoes that I wear to work. Not at the same time, of course. Um, but they're flats because I do a lot of walking around work. Um, I have a red, white and cream pair of stilettos or pumps as you call them in America. Um, I have a couple of pairs of joggers that I've purchased while I have been in the States from time to time, from sketches. Um, what else do I have? I have a couple of pairs of boots for winter. And that's about it. I have my mini mouse shoes, everybody calls them. Because um, I have very small feet. And a size six, between five and a half and six, I get uh, usually six. Um, that's only because that's the smaller size I can find usually in the ladies section. Um, I have trouble getting shoes, but anyway, these mini mouse shoes are um, five and a half, and when I put them on, you can actually see the size of my feet. Um, in the stilettos and stuff, you, you can't notice it as much as in these mini mouse shoes, people call them. Um, so yeah, it's only because they're small. Um, what religion will you raise your children to practice? Uh, well, my daughter was baptised Catholic. Um, we're not practicing Catholics, but it, it enabled her to go to a Catholic um, primary school, which I wanted her to do. Um, so she went to a Catholic primary school and a public um, high school, which is what I always wanted to do. I wanted her to have the grounding and discipline and everything like that in a private Catholic school. And then um, I went to an all-girls school um, for my high school and I hated it and I got out of it not being able to talk to boys or not being comfortable around boys and things like that. Um, and also the subjects that we had were very limited, whereas in a public co-ed school um, you could, you know, you, you, you had a wider variety to pick from. Um, and Beck also did, it was a sports school she went to, um, and she was very good at trampolining, until she um, started getting her period, believe it or not, and her brain had to go and see a neurologist, because whenever she was jumping up and down or doing somersaults in the air she'd start getting dizzy and fall off the trampoline so I didn't think that was a very good idea so I went to the doctor who 
um, send us off for brain scans and things like that. So, and and a real shock came out of the brain scans. It actually showed she did have a brain. She just didn't use it. <laughs> um, we had proof she had a brain after the after the brain scans, but what was happening is because she was growing fairly tall, fairly quick, her brain wasn't keeping up with her height. So whenever she'd jump up and down really high on the trampoline or do somersaults on the trampoline, she would get awfully dizzy and um, fall off. So the doctor said it would be 18 months or two years before um, her brain would actually come up, catch up with a height um, so she could no longer do trampolining anymore which was a shame because she was really enjoying it and she was really good at it and the friends she had from it were great um, but say la vie that's life um, Gee, I really went off track with that one. Um, how old were you when you found out that Santa wasn't real? I don't remember, but because I was the baby, I had to pretend longer um, than when I realised Santa wasn't real because once all of us believed, and I was the youngest, once all of us believed that there was no Santa, the presents were going to be wrapped up and put under the tree so we would have to wait then for um, my grandparents to arrive which was usually about 11 o'clock Christmas morning can you imagine that three little kids can't open any Christmas presents until about 11 o'clock Christmas morning I'm like up at five fingering them and you know that was terrible um, the last question is why do you have a tumbler but I don't have a tumbler so. um, and that's all the quiz questions for that little tag um, I'll just tell you what's going on over the next couple of days um, I have recorded and scheduled a few videos for the next few days um, every second day over the next few days. I'm actually going on a cruise on Saturday um, and today is Thursday. Um, I'm only going for a couple of days, so it's four days. Um, so I won't be around, so you won't see any comments or love hearts or anything on the um, on the on the comments page of YouTube um, because I don't don't know but don't think there's Wi-Fi on the ship so and to use standard roaming would just cost me an absolute fortune so as far as I'm aware um, I'll have no Wi-Fi once I leave um, the Sydney area in on the water um, I might do a, a quick live or a recorded video when I'm just about to leave Sydney I was hoping we would leave from Sydney Harbour and so I could have shown you the Sydney Harbour Bridge and um, the Opera House and other sites that are fairly well known um, but we're going from a place called White Bay that doesn't have um, the vistas that going out of Sydney Harbour does so um, that is out as far as I'm aware but I might do a quick one anyway as we're sailing, sailing out of the Sydney Heads um, I think it's about four o'clock my time when the ship sails or supposed to sail I think it's around four um, I think we can get on around 12 if we want to and have lunch and 
start our little holiday. Um, I think I said before that we're meeting around at mum and dad's and hiring a bus and we're all getting on the bus and going over to where the ship's leaving from. As I said, there's no um, public transport and I doubt, doubt if there would be any long-term parking there. And if there was, I, I would say it would be all full with ships going in and out all the time. Um, so I think the bus was a, um, a good idea. So I'll be gone for a few days, having a rest. I am taking a diamond painting with me. I figured um, I'm just taking a little one with me. I've got it all kitted up and ready to go. Because um, I thought if I took it, I wouldn't want it. But if I didn't have it, you know, I'd regret it. So got that and I've got a little bit of crocheting I can do and um, got some books on my iPad and some um, downloaded YouTube videos on my iPad I think there's about 40 on there um, of diamond painter that's how far I behind I am so might catch up on those while I'm away and then have to download all the other ones that I missed while I was away doesn't seem to be as many I think people are on holidays and things like that so they're not doing as many videos as normal so that's okay I should be able to catch up soon um, don't like to miss things like um, Stitcher Easter's video today she did on or oh, sorry not today because um, I'm behind but I watched it today um, on washi tape or something on and, and, and yeah the washi tape video so then of course I had to go onto the site and buy some myself um, I don't <coughs> I don't use them for framing or anything or doing a portfolio um, I use them around the outside of um, diamond paintings as I'm doing them but they look like some pretty washi tape so washi tape is very expensive here um, I think the shipping for this lot was $15 so and I bought a fair bit I bought you know just over a hundred dollars worth so that were on special um, and then an extra 10% off as well so they were on sale um, plus another 10% so and they'll be here uh, a couple of weeks after I get back I'll do a video on them when I get them as well so you can have a look um, but I like washi tape and washi tape is not so much difficult to find here because you can always get it online from Amazon and things like that but it's pretty expensive here I don't know why um, like everything I suppose it's a lot more expensive than it is in the States so what I'm buying from this craft shop is um, around about the same price as we buy it for here but they're a lot nicer um, the ones from this craft shop than the ones you can get at you know Kmart or Big W or things like that so I ordered some of them um, and I also ordered a box to put some of them in I mean, they're not all going to fit in this box but anything that I've got out can go in it keep the dust off it and that sort of thing and as I use them I'll put more in there but yeah I use a fair bit around the outside of um, diamond paintings so that's what I do with them well I suppose I better go um, I have quite a bit to do tomorrow as you can see I have to get my nails done um, a few of them broke over Christmas so I just cut them back um, I just get um, gel on mine I don't get the fake nails so I'll slowly grow, grow back again so I'll go and get some gels on them tomorrow 
and they'll look pretty and I've got a pack and um, I, my my chair for my new um, for my new drafting table came today this afternoon so I want to try and get that put together as well if I can if I've got time um, and then I leave on Saturday morning um, it's 11 o'clock around at mum and dad so um, I have to drive my car around to mum and dad's and park it there and and um, jump on the bus um, I'll probably leave about 10 o'clock they're only about 15 or 20 minutes away from me but you know traffic sometimes um, car accidents somewhere slows down the traffic over the over Tom Upley's bridge so um, leave some extra time I'd hate to miss the bus and then miss the boat so sit down and talk to mum and dad for a while before we jump on and I'll probably had, have to put some more drills on their diamond painting while I'm there bloody hua can um, but yeah so it should be a fun few days it's four nights we're away for um, so so come up yeah, so um, that was my daughter's boyfriend just knocking on the door. I'll come. Up, I, they want me to go upstairs for a minute, so I'll stop this video and um, do another one soon. Talk to you soon. Bye bye for now.